There are three families of plants that give native plant gardeners and even botanists trouble when it comes to identifying them. These are the sedges, the rushes, and the grasses, often simply referred to as the grasses and grass allies. While they all look quite similar, there are some simple ways to tell the three families apart. To keep things simple, I'm gonna cover each family individually, and then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a simple rhyme to keep everything straight. Let's start off with the sedges, the family Cyperaceae, which is represented by around 850 species in North America. The sedges are a diverse family, with several species being quite showy and attractive, making them well suited to the pollinator garden. The foliage of many species is attractive in both growth form and color, but it is the wide range of seed head shapes, which vary greatly depending on the species, that tend to draw people to the sedges. So what are the keys to separating the sedges from the rushes and the grasses? Remember the simple saying, sedges have edges, meaning the stem has a triangular cross section, and if you look at a cut sedge stem, it will have a solid center. If you love to learn simple ways to help identify native plants, then whip out your handy magnifying glass and go identify that like button. Now let's move on to the rushes, the family Juncaceae, which has much less representation in North America with around 118 species. Although not as numerous, the rushes are still important plants in many plant community types and can make great additions to pollinator gardens, especially if you have a rain garden or water feature. Many rushes have awesome growth forms and showy seed heads that can hold a ton of interest at all times of the year. The simple way to tell if you are looking at a rush is to remember that rushes are round, referring to the round stem that rushes have. Cutting a rush stem will reveal a soft, spongy pith. Do you want to discover the next step in creating your own thriving backyard ecosystem? Of course you do! To help you figure out the next steps on your path to having an awesome backyard ecosystem, we here at Backyard Ecology have created a simple quiz that will determine where you are currently at in your journey and what practical steps you need to take to further you along the path to the backyard ecosystem of your dreams. The quiz is simple and fun and only takes a couple of minutes to take. To take the quiz and discover your next step in creating a thriving backyard ecosystem, just follow the link in the description. Finally, we come to the grasses, the family Poaceae, which is the largest of these three families by far, with around 1,400 species present in North America. This is a super important family of plants, not only in North America, but worldwide, as many important food crops such as rice, wheat, and corn are grasses. The native warm season grasses make a great addition to the pollinator garden since they are used as host plants, provide nesting sites for native bees, and standing dead vegetation for winter cover, and many of them just plain look awesome, like this pink muley grass. The grasses have swollen, distinct nodes along their stems, which led to the saying, grasses have nodes from their tips to the ground. Which is great for those who know what the word node means in plant nerd speak. Often, non-botanists call the nodes joints, so the saying becomes, grasses have joints from their tips to the ground. And this is the way I most often hear the saying said. I have also heard it switch to a more 420 version that goes, grasses have joints when the cops aren't around, which honestly is kind of catchy and easy to remember. I know which version is my favorite. Let me know which version is your favorite and which version you think is my favorite down in the comments. The grasses also have round, hollow stems. If you need something to help you remember this, just think of bamboo which are really giant grass species that are well known for being hollow. Putting it all together now, we have the botanical saying, sedges have edges, rushes are round, grasses have joints from their tips to the ground. Or your choice of verses on that last one. Telling the sedges, rushes, and grasses apart is straightforward. Identifying individual species within the families is way more involved. To become proficient in identifying plants, you have to learn some basic botany. And one of the most important pieces in learning plant ID is understanding the types of leaves that plants have. And you can learn all about those in this video. And be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard. 